and talk tonight about slope application. So when you are given a word problem that asks you to find the rate of change, that's just another phrase that says use your slope formula. So we're going to practice using our slope formula to find the rate of change. So the first equation that we have, or the first question that we have, is the table with high temperatures, okay, for a city in the first part of June. Question A, find the rate of change in high temperature between June 1st and June 6th. So the information in the question is going to tell you which ordered pairs you're going to use. So the June 1st is the first ordered pair that you're going to use, which is going to be 1, 72. And June 6th is going to be the second ordered pair that you're going to use, 6, 76. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write our formula. So A, M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Our ordered pairs are 1, 72 and 6, 76. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. M equals. So we're going to have 76 minus 72 over 6 minus 1. M equals 4 over 5. Now we're going to put 4 over 5 into our calculator. We're going to get a decimal and we're going to round to the nearest hundred. So when we put our 4 fifths into the calculator, it's M is equal to 0.8 and then we have to write down the two things that we are measuring and looking at. So that's 0.8 degrees per day. So our answer would be 0.8 degrees per day. And you'll notice that we use the slanted line for the word Per. All right, let's take a look at the second one. The second one is the rate of change from June 6th to June 8th. So June 6th, we're going to use 676. And June 8th, we're going to use 884. All right, so let's go ahead and work our problem. So we have for B, M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Our ordered pairs are 676 and 884. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. M equals put our substitution in, we have 84 minus 76 over 8 minus 6. M equals 8 over 2. M equals 4, label it, degrees per day. So 4 degrees per day. All right, let's take a look at C. It says, which of the time intervals did the temperature rise faster? So in our first time interval, it rose a, almost one degree. In our second one, it raised four degrees. So the interval that we're looking at would be June 6th through June 8th. All right, let's take a look at the next one. The next one says, Josh started a diet and decided to record his weight every other week. So we're going to find the rate of change for week 0 to week 2. So we're going to look at week 0, which is going to be 0 to 8. 
224 and 2, 219. Now notice that the zero is the weak and the weight is our Y. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our rate of change. So for C, I'll start it over here. C is going to be M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. My ordered pairs are 0 and 224 and 2 and 2, 19. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. M equals 219 minus 224 over 2 minus 0. M equals negative 5 over 2. I'm going to put that into my calculator, change it to a decimal, negative 2.5 pounds per week. So negative 2.5 pounds per week. All right, let's go ahead and do D, uh, B. Sorry, that was actually A. All right, so now let's do B. B is week two and week four. So week two is two and 219, and week four is four and 221. So M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. M equals, my ordered pairs are going to be 2 and 219 and 4 and 221 x1, y1, x2, y2. M equals 2. So we're working on week 2 to week 4. Okay? So we have 221 minus 219 over 4 minus 2. M equals 2 over 2, which gives us M equals 1 pound per week. Now notice that that's a positive 1 pound, which means we gained a pound we didn't lose it. So this is going to be a positive one pound per week. All right, let's go ahead and go to C. So C, we're looking at week four to week six. So it's going to be four, 221, and six, 215. So clearly we can look at just the ordered pair and realize that there's definitely been some weight loss. All right, so let's go ahead and go to C. So we'll do C. M equals Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. My ordered pairs are 421 4 comma 221 and 6 comma 215. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. 
m equals 215 minus 221 over 6 minus 4. m equals negative 6 over 2. m equals negative 3, again the label, pounds per week. So this one is a loss of three pounds per week. Okay, the last one that we're going to look at is going to be from week six to week eight. So this is going to be six and 215 and eight and 215. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to D. M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. My ordered pairs are 6 and 215 and 8 and 215. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. M equals. 215 minus 215, 8 minus 6. Now you'll notice that my weight is exactly the same. So think about that. How much weight did you lose if your weight is exactly the same? Because it's going to be 0 over 2. And we've talked about 0 over any number is 0. So it's zero pounds per week. So zero pounds per week. So obviously, week four to week six, there was the most weight loss, and week six to week eight was the least weight loss. All right, so this is how you use the slope formula to find rate of change.